right now. Because y'all, none of y'all, I'm mad at y'all. None of y'all came for me, for one thing. And I'm going to show you. Let's go to my April budget. Let's go over here. And let's go to this beautiful budget I did that took me so long to do. And no one noticed. No one noticed. And I'm mad. And I can't believe I did this. And I can't believe none of y'all caught it. Where do you see baby Jesus in here? Huh? Where do you see my baby Jesus in this, in this budget? Let me know. Let me know where my baby Jesus is at. I cannot believe myself. Lord, you don't have to forgive me. You, you, I didn't put it here. There is, no one caught it. No one caught it. I caught it because I got paid and I'm starting to make my calculations. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my baby Jesus money at? It's not in here. Wait, wait, where is it at? Not in there. Not in there. Shame on y'all for not catching me. Shame on y'all. But I caught myself. And we're going to fix this budget right now. We're going to fix it. Because I also forgot, like, two more things. I forgot I needed shoes. And I forgot I needed to pay for Disneyland. Like, it's for my anniversary, but this is like a, a side gift for someone in my family that I am contributing. So, yeah. But I cannot believe I forgot that. Mm-mm. Shame on me. Shame on me. But we're fixing that. We're making it better. But anywho, let's get back to this. So I got paid, right? I got paid. So I'm going to put an actual right here. I know I broke it down and I'm supposed to put like an actual or what, or like at the end. But you know what? I can't do that. I'm struggling over here. So I'm going to put my actual for what I actually got paid um, yesterday, which was Friday. Today is Saturday. I'm going to film this, go to work. And then figure out life later on. So let's look. So we got paid yesterday. And here we go. I got paid $1,585.48. Now, I'm going to let y'all know that it's only that high because I went exempt. Because we got a bonus. But we're not going to talk about that bonus today. Not in this video. That video is going to be some other some other day. Not today. I, I'm on a... I'm on a time budget is what I am right now. So I got paid $1,585.48. So out of this, I have to take away $162 straight away. I got to remove it because that's for my exempt that has to go into my savings. So like that at the end of the year, in case anything shady happens, I already have some of that put to the side. This is like federal taxes that, you know, didn't get charged because I went exempt. So I'm going to take $162 out instantly. So let's do 1585 1585 and what what was it? 48 cents. 48 cents and we're going to take $162 out like right now. So this is actually what I getting paid. $1,423.48. Now you say, why you get exempt if you're going to take away the taxes? Well, that's because I have to go exempt for everything in order for my bonus to not get taxed so heavily. Which, by the way, it did. It got taxed so heavily. You guys go... You're going to see. You're going to see. You're going to see in the next video. So let's go up in here. Let's zoom right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one right here for uh, March paycheck, April paycheck, or I'm just going to put it, um, add an April paycheck and April paycheck. And then at the end, we're just going to add the total of what I got paid here. And then I'm going to use my um, bonus paycheck here and YouTube paycheck. I'm just going to add, you, you're going to see what I'm going to do. So for the actual, I got paid $1,423.48. Cents, which sounds about right. That's that's what I've been getting paid the last two months, but since I averaged it out for like January through um, March, this was the average amount. But yeah, so I got paid $1,423.48. Now out of that, I'm supposed to take out all of this nonsense. I'm not going to mess with rent until the 12th. To the 12th of April because that's going to, I'm going to consider that the paycheck that I'm going to have to take my rent now. I can take out my rent right now and then be ahead 
but I don't want to do that because I'm already ahead of my um, rent by a month and I don't I'm not trying to be rent ahead by like two months or three months because we're gonna have another magic month like in August I believe so yeah so what's it called so from here I'm gonna have to take some of this stuff away like um, laundry groceries gas uh, maybe not my phone because it's not due until the next paycheck and let's see cart all of this nonsense so the credit union has to come out so let's go ahead and do that so what I'm gonna do let's see how much I can take out before my paycheck hits zero so let's one thing that has to come out no matter what because this is on auto pay and that is um, that shit has to get it done. It's two hundred and seventy four dollars. Two hundred and seventy four dollars has to come out of my um paycheck, this paycheck, no matter what, because that is within this um paycheck cycle. Everything else is due like on the um fifteenth and on, so I don't have to really worry about that. We're gonna worry about that in my next paycheck. So everything that is fixed expenses. We're not going to worry about it right now. We are going to go ahead and concentrate on my variable expenses right over here. Now, like I said, I do need to add uh, two categories. I'm just going to put unbudgeted and baby Jesus on here. So let me see if I can undo this real quick. See, this is what I meant when I was telling you guys like this kind of budget can make or break you. And it's insane. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. Now I can't change the total on here anymore because you know it's already set in stone but <clears throat> you guys are going to know that hey this is not right because for so and so reasons. So let me go ahead and put uh, baby Jesus here. Now for him I do what was it like um, $50? I'm pretty sure that's what I did, $50. So $50 times 3 because of my last March paycheck, which is this one, April 12th and April 28th, I believe. Um, he's going to get $150. Look how much money I was not giving him. How dare I? How dare I? And for um, unbudgeted, I'm going to just have that category as that because it is unbudgeted, kind of budgeted. It was kind of miscellaneous that came up at the end of the uh, month because you know health problems and then I forget that I signed up for like a gift edition that totally forgot anywho so for unbudgeted um, I am seeking to spend uh, $70 on shoes because I have a thing called frontal fasciitis and if you have it that is painful y'all that is so painful it feels like you're walking on a bruise that's trying to heal or on a broken but i don't know it hurts so bad and oh my god it hurts so i need to buy some supportive shoes and like insoles so i'm estimating 70 dollars. that's all i want to spend the only thing i'm confused about if i should take it out of my medical fund or just you know Get, take it out of my paycheck because you know what I can do that but we're gonna do $70 and then I agreed to pay $25 towards a gift now I can take that also out of my birthday fund but who knows I'm gonna think about it I think I am though I think I am <clears throat> so for unbudgeted I it is unbudgeted because I totally forgot about them so we're gonna do $95 that is it that is that's all of it. This is wrong. I don't have white out though, so I can't really white it out. But we're going to add 1243, right? Cuz that's the total I said plus $95. So what I actually need is uh $1,338 to fully fund all this nonsense. So, let's go over here. So, out of right here, this is what I got paid, right? 1423.48. We're gonna take out credit union, which is 274, because that's just a must. Now let's see how much of this I can take out before my next paycheck. So for laundry, I can do 30. So let's minus 30. I can do groceries, which is 160. I can do my gasoline, which is 180. Not my phone, because I'm gonna include that in my next billing cycle which is on my 
April 12th paycheck. So we're not going to worry about my phone. I'm not going to worry about natural gas because that's always due at the end of the month. And I just paid it. So the answer is no. We got my taxes. Ooh. That's going to hit hard. Let's worry about this. On the, let's worry about this on my bonus check. Let's, these two, I decided that was going to be my bonus check. So we, we, we're not going to concentrate on these right now. <laughs> we're not, don't look at that right now. Don't look at that. Let's do my car maintenance, which is an additional 30 that I need to take out. 180 for sinking funds. Uh, $96 for shutdown. I'm giving myself $100, which... Baby Jesus, I've never done that by, before. Um, not in one go. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to control myself, but you know, we're going to see about that. Uh, giving my baby Jesus $150, because you know. And $95 um, for the things that I needed to um, pay and budget out for health reasons and gift options. So we're going to do that. So in total, I'm left with $128.48. Now, yeah, no, we're not going to worry about these. This one, this one, so anniversary, taxes, natural gas, and phone, we're not going to worry about that. I am left with $128.48. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this amount at my Nordstrom. So I'm going to go ahead and throw $128.48 to my Nordstrom and we gonna call it a day because the next one up due would be Victoria's Secret but I don't want to start paying these off because I want this to be my April 12th paycheck this is just like an extra paycheck that we got in March so I call it free money so I can do whatever I want with it and everything is paid off for the entire month of March so I don't want to mess with my um, fix expenses right now so we're gonna let that be so a hundred and twenty eight dollars and forty eight cents are gonna go to um uh, Nordstrom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mark right over here in this little box this little box right here and I'm gonna put my first debt snowball um, is gonna be a hundred and twenty eight dollars and forty eight cents that's going to be my first debt snowball. This is going to be a debt snowball uh, countdown. So like that, at the end of April, I can add it up and tell you, hey, this is going to be my snowball. So that is actually what's going to happen. Whew. Look at that. One paycheck took care of all of this nonsense except for like my taxes, my anniversary, and my phone. And my natural gas. I mean, I could put it on there, but why? Why should I do that? I'm just going to worry about that in my next paycheck. So, that was my budget for um, this paycheck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In my next video, I'm going to show you me adding all of that into all my funds, all my cash envelopes, everything. So, stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Bye.